As anticipation builds for the meeting between Chinese and Indian leaders, the BRICS summit began with a series of bilateral talks hosted by Russian President Vladimir Putin. The three-day summit aims to strengthen ties among member nations as they work to challenge Western influence. Dasha Chernyshova has more from Kazan. Among those in attendance are China's President Xi Jinping, India's leader Narendra Modi and the President of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa. They are some of the 36 countries represented at the summit. The focus of discussions is on the development of BRICS as well as bilateral relations. In a meeting with President Xi, Putin said that Russia's cooperation with China is a main stabilizer in the global arena. He also praised relations with Beijing as the example of what cooperation between the countries should look like. The two leaders have grown exceptionally close in recent years with a shared view on many issues, including the West. China's president said that over the past decade, ties between Russia and China have gone through unprecedented challenges. In his meeting with India's Prime Minister, Putin noted a privileged partnership. Russian officials say one way to further deepen ties between the BRICS nations is a proposed project to increase investment and trade. This could include a new payment system to rival the bank messaging network SWIFT, which facilitates international transactions. In a meeting with the head of New Development Bank, Putin highlighted the importance of transition to settlements in national currencies to help reduce debt services, as well as geopolitical risks. It could also be the way for Russia to circumvent Western sanctions. The total of 36 countries are represented in Kazan, 22 at the highest level. The Kremlin says 13 countries are being considered for a partner status and the modalities are being discussed. Dasha Chernyshova, CNA, Kazan.